Hi, thanks for joining me for Easter Markup. We are counting down uh, toward Easter, and we're looking at some things out of Mark's account of resurrection and the Easter event um, that kind of keep us in the right frame of mind, give us some things to remember as we move toward it. In this particular uh, edition, I want to go to Mark chapter 14, um, verse 28. Jesus is talking. And he says, But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. And Peter declared, Even if all fall away, I will not. In verse 30, Jesus says, I tell you the truth. Today, yes, tonight, before the rooster crows twice, you will disown me three times. But Peter insisted emphatically, Even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the others said the same. It's an interesting passage, um, one that we're somewhat familiar with, because it's that passage where Peter denies Jesus. And that's a horrible thing. And in spite of Peter's best intentions, he didn't step up and he didn't come through. What we don't often see in the passage is the verse that I just ended with, verse 31. But Peter insisted emphatically, even if I have to die with you, I'll never disown you. We know Peter blows it. We know what happens in the aftermath of that. And we know that Jesus restores Peter just like he restores us. But the phrase that we normally don't remember is this, and all the others said the same. See, we make Peter the bad guy in this passage because Peter's willing to open up his mouth and put his foot in his mouth and, you know, he is our leader. But don't miss that little last bit. And all the others did the same. They all promised. They all said they'd stick with him. They wouldn't leave him. They'd be there. And yet when push came to shove, they didn't. The issue was not whether they had good intentions. They did. As we often say around here at the church at 434, um, Direction, not intention, gets you to your destination. This is another one of those times where the great intentions they had, and they believed them, but they didn't put any direction to that intention to make sure it didn't happen. Because when the pressure was on, they skated. I call this passage to your attention to let you know, one, Peter wasn't alone in this. He was one of a number of them said that they would never leave Jesus. But the other thing about it is, too, is that Peter does fail, and he fails big time. But at the end of the day, Jesus doesn't give up on him. And Peter's biggest failure becomes one of his greatest moments because Jesus is able to teach him through the failure, and Peter becomes who he's supposed to be. Peter is able to be greater than he was before because of the failure, because Jesus used it, brought him through it, and somehow took him and guided him through it in such a way that it made him a better version of himself at the other end. We've all failed, no doubt about it. We all mess up. Not only Peter, but all the disciples. What we intend and what we do sometimes are very different things. Make sure that you set in your life, even this week, the direction of making sure that you celebrate Easter, that you remember what Jesus did, you remember why he did it, and allow that truth to change you. And if you do, mark my words, you will have an Easter celebration worth remembering. No doubt about it. I look forward to joining you next time here on Easter Markup.